to when Ventura was on. I wish I'd have gone to coach, but I, you know, you know, Jesse thinks the earth's changing and, and, and doesn't support the carbon taxes. He just thinks we're hurting the earth. And I told you, I don't agree with everything Ventura says. I should have gone to this call. I, I, I overlooked it. Uh, next time he's on, I promise I will raise this point uh, for Ventura. But coach wanted to know why Jesse supports global warming agenda. Uh, go ahead, coach, and make your point. Yeah, I mean, despite the fact that the uh, the uh, founder of the Weather Channel, you know, says that it's all a bunch of bullocks, you know, he supports it. You know, and I love Jesse and I respect Jesse, so I kind of wanted to know, you know, why he supports that agenda. Um, however, I do have another point that I've been trying to get a, a hold of you for uh, for a very long time, and that's, um, you know, solutions. A lot of people call your show and they, they ask, what can I do? And you always give them good advice, you know, to, you know, put the word out and all that stuff, but we know, you and I both know, Alex, that this is going to collapse. Our system is going to collapse. So I, my solution is I think we should facilitate that collapse in the big four banks. All of your listeners should pull every bit of money that they have out of those big four banks. If you have a loan with that bank, you should refinance to a different bank and, and create a bank run. That will get their attention, in my opinion. Well, I, I agree with you. And... Um we have to get the attention of the establishment to stop trying to start nuclear war with Russia, to stop funding Al Qaeda, to stop, you know, they go on TV and brag that Obamacare is a scam. I mean, think about that and laugh at us how they lied to us and then it isn't repealed because of the Republicans. We have to shake these people up. You know, Hitler had to get shaken up with armies coming in on him. Uh, I mean, governments go crazy. They think they're godlike. The corporations running it think they're not going to get in trouble uh, trying to leverage U.S. wealth and capital to take over the planet while bankrupting us. And it, it, it's just, and it's not just the corporations and the government. The people themselves have gotten decadent. We all have. We've been living in such free countries with so much wealth for so long that we just stopped being serious people and started letting people do bad stuff. And uh, nobody's been watching the, you know, the, the shop and uh, the, the inmates are running the asylum. So I don't just sit here and blame the whole system. I blame myself as well. Even though I've been fighting tyranny for 22 years, 20 years on air, uh, that's what it comes down to. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, we have pharmacist Ben Fuchs coming up. That's going to be a very informative interview to get a bunch of different medical news. We'll continue with your phone calls, and we'll take uh, phone calls. Pharmacist Ben Fuchs uh, on any uh, you know, questions you've got about vitamins, minerals, drugs that are out there. Uh, we're going to talk about a host of issues with him, get into some economic news as well. Straight ahead, the news websites are Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And we are broadcasting worldwide live on this Friday edition. I'll be back live in studio this Sunday, Lord willing, 4 to 6 p.m. Central. And the nightly news tonight, 7 o'clock. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel Body Armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula. Super male vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my super male vitality. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must 
must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must-have for every modern, independently-minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-888-253-3139. The experts are clear. Sunlight, purified water, healthy non-GMO food, and having a good attitude is essential to a healthy immune system. But I go further with Super Nascent Iodine X2 from InfoWarsLife.com. 50% stronger than our original and revolutionary nascent iodine formula, coming from a deep earth crystal source that no other supplier has. Most other forms of iodine come from seaweed in areas plagued by Fukushima and other contaminants. Not our iodine. It comes from over 200 million year old crystal salt deposits and is tested and proven to be completely pure. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today. See the informational videos. Read the information they're compiled. And for a limited time, when you use promo code NOW at checkout, you get an additional 5% off the entire family of InfoWarsLife.com products. Secure your Survival Shield X2 today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. I hereby declare this to be an unlawful assembly. I order all those assembled to immediately disperse. It's a military mission in North St. Louis. Heavily armored vehicles are rolling into town. And don't be alarmed if you see those over the next seven days rolling through your neighborhood. If you see military helicopters flying low over Minneapolis, do not be alarmed. Guns will be taken. No one will be able to be armed. We yes, will sir. take all yes, weapons. Sir. Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them all in. Just really brainwash people into thinking about guns in a vastly different way. Enough. 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 The Department of Homeland Security is apparently on a huge ammo buying spree. It comes out to like 1.6 billion rounds of ammunition. NSK's Late News 12 Jeff Farrell discovered that clergy would help the government with potentially their biggest problem. Us. So part of it is we have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. If you got a business, that you didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. Mercury-containing vaccines may help not harm kids, according to two new studies in the journal Pediatrics. Blackhawk choppers soaring through the night sky, but this is only a drill. Heavily armed officers in Watertown search for the suspect, house to house. It's a joint military training exercise involving local police, also military. In your apartment! I am in my apartment, sir. Go back inside right now! I am inside. I have two words for you. Predator drones. <laughs> you will never see it coming. The dramatic scene played out in front of our cameras. Parents grabbing their children and running after spending the night hunkering in their houses and then finding themselves face to face with the muzzle of a SWAT officer's rifle. They let them in the area, they told them they could come in, and now they're coming in like they're trespassers, punching and shoving people. We're not turning our guns in, and we're not running, and we're not backing down. If you want to come and take them. We are on the march. The Empire is on the run. Live from the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. This is the heart. I can't believe I'm doing a Nickelback video.
Well, it looks as if the apocalypse may finally be upon us. Nickelback is releasing their eighth studio album titled No Fixed Address, which will feature their new single, Edge of a Revolution. That's right. The vanilla Walmart rockers from Canada are telling you it's time to stick your fist in the air and call for a revolution. The lead singer, who now looks like actor Tim Roth, who borrowed a jacket from Bruce Springsteen, says the song touches upon the fat cats on Wall Street and inspired from current events as the war in Ukraine and how the government treats its citizens. But before we analyze this anthem for the people, written and produced by the biggest corporate rock act of the last 20 years, let's enjoy another snippet. Feeling inspired and revolutionary? Well, I have to admit, the song is pretty catchy, especially with that anthem at the end, and that video editing is really slick. But let's look at the inspiration for this song. As we've been pointing out all along, George Soros was involved in the coup in Ukraine, and he even admitted this in May to CNN's Fareed Zakaria. Zakaria asked Soros, first on Ukraine, one of the things that many people recognized about you was that you, during the revolutions of 1989, funded a lot of dissonant activities, civil society groups in Eastern Europe and Poland, and the Czech Republic. Are you doing similar things in Ukraine? Well, I set up a foundation in Ukraine before Ukraine became independent of Russia, and that foundation has been functioning ever since and played an important part in events now, Soros responded. Sorry, Nickelback, but I don't think a billionaire and admitted Nazi collaborator is interested in freedom or change or whatever the hell you're singing about. And as for the Fat Cats on Wall Street reference, the video flashes Occupy over and over again throughout different parts of the video and seems to be paying homage to the Occupy Wall Street movement, which started back in 2011. Its origins can be traced to the anti-consumerism magazine Adbusters, who have since claimed they had nothing to do with it. Basically, the Occupy movement was started by foundations in order to take the heat off the end the Fed movement, which was gaining steam with the people. And when the Obama administration could not control the movement, it was attacked and decimated. And I'm not attacking the people who had participated in Occupy Wall Street. There were a lot of good people involved who saw the system sucking off them. But capitalism is what built the foundation of this entire society. Now, it's not perfect by any stretch, but when you have the government picking winners and losers, you will never have freedom, you only have tyranny. And what we have now is a festering fascistic system called crony capitalism. So you have Nickelback paying homage to two foundation-funded fake movements. What do you expect from a band who sings mostly about strippers and drinking? And if you think foundation-funded movements are harmless, look into the Carnegie Foundation for International Peace. One of its first moves was to lobby Woodrow Wilson not to end World War I too early so they could fundamentally change America. Now, Nickelback did get it right with how the government treats its people. They mentioned the NSA. And recently, an Obamacare architect got caught on tape saying the stupidity of the American people got Obamacare passed. The lack of transparency is a huge political advantage. And basically, you know, call it the stupidity of the American voter or whatever. But basically, that was really 